and definitely expect great racing. Welcome to the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series Lucas Oil 200 on speed. Mike Skinner brings the field to the green flag. Crafton early on makes it three wide, takes the lead going through turns one and two. How about that? He wants to get five of those points back from that lead. Matt Crafton, second in the points. Now, leading the field at Iowa Speedway. That's a pretty gutsy move to do that right at the start. Oh, no Spinner. Problems back in the back, the 92. Stays out of harm's way, stays off the racetrack. Brian Eichler. Trying to hold off that hard charging Colin Brown in the six. It's a battle for the seventh position. Colin Brown's truck was very, very good in today's practice. They struggled a little bit yesterday, but really caught on to it today. Colin Brown is able to get by that 51 of Brian Eichler, so he'll take over the seventh spot. The six truck, the second guy off pit road. Great battles off pit road. Matt Crafton was able to get in front of Horn today. Johnny Sauter got in front of Hornaday as well. Down on my end, Adam, for the number six, Conway Ford. It was just a little bit of an adjustment that Mike Bean called out, but the driver had been calling in saying, my truck feels like it's losing grip longer in the run. They went down one round on the track bar, four tires and fuel for the number six truck. Field negotiating one and two. Look at Hornaday right hugging the Yellow line going to pull up beside Colin Brown for the third spot. Mike Skinner looked like he shot out of turn number two. He put three truck links between himself and T.J. Bell and Hornaday now taking over third. Green flag back in the air. Eric Almirola in front of Mike Skinner, but for how long? Skinner looking to the inside. Almirola still has that top spot. Hornaday stuck in behind the 60 of Stacy Compton. Not, not anymore. <laughs> not for long. <laughs> Down to the bottom of the racetrack. Three wide. Hornaday takes the spot away. Ooh, then does a slide job on Terry Cook. Terry Cook moves down to the bottom, trying to take that position back. Battle for the lead. Skinner in front of Eric Almirola when they cross the start-finish line. I was really curious to see how two tires were going to do. I think it's a little bit early to tell what's going to happen 30, 40 laps down the road is when we're going to really find out. It does. And usually two tires works good for the first 10, 15 laps over four. And so I was a little bit surprised that maybe he didn't stay out there. But I think that the reason why he did that, he was a little bit further back than he wanted to be. And that five truck's pretty good. That five truck is really good. We're at the moment. Really so. good. An eye on Hornaday on this restart. He's in fourth right now behind the sixth of Colin Brown. Reads back in the air. Skinner, Eric Almarola, one and two. There goes Hornaday. Hornaday to the inside of Colin Brown, trying to take third away. And he will close. Oh, what a close call there. But he closes that door for now. We'll see if Colin Brown will try to fight back. There's Matt Crafton right behind Colin Brown. He looks to the inside. Matt Crafton sees Hornaday just in front of him. Those two battling for a championship. I'll tell you, that six truck of Colin Brown, what a, what a move he's made here in the last few races. Since Dover, which was nine races ago, he was 20th in points, and he's moved all the way up to seven. And I think he found uh, victory lane in that he did stretch that, yeah. in Michigan. It was a big win for him. And you know, Adam, I certainly agree with what Phil and the guys in the booth were talking about when you start talking about that number six truck. What an unbelievable run for Colin Brown lately here in the second third of the season. But the big question is, what happens to Conway Freight? We still don't have an answer yet back from them whether they'll return to the Truck Series next year. We know that Colin Brown and Roush Fenway will not be here next year. He's going to be competing in the Nationwide Series. But we still don't have an answer yet about that sponsorship. Welcome back. Under 20 laps of racing to go in the Lucas Oil 200, Mike Skinner. Again, holding on to about a 4.8 second lead over Eric Almirola. Now into a little more traffic. So that will come into play. See yeah, who gets through the traffic better. And right now, uh, with only 17 laps to go, Eric Almirola is going to need a caution flag to do anything with Mike Skinner. He also has to worry about the 33 of Hornaday, who has been there since the restart. Yeah, sometimes you hate to see a caution <laughs> if uh, Ron Hornaday is behind you, but we see. The six starting to catch back up, and everybody's starting to get piled up here in traffic. It's going to start making a good race out of this here. 
Colin Brown and that's six. Trying to agitate the 33 of Ron Hornaday. Adam. And one thing the point leader does not want to do is have back to back bad nights. They struggled a bit last weekend in Chicago land. They have rallied nicely here this evening and in position to get another top five finish. But here's something that's amazing for driver 33. He has not led a lap here tonight. On the season entering this race, 749 circuits out front. That was 29% of the laps led in 2009. Had Ron Hornaday out front, but he's not had the field until this evening, Ray. As we see Colin Brown trying to move to the inside of that 33 of Ron Hornaday. Look, look at here, 10 laps to go, 11 laps to go, side by side for third, side by side for fifth. Championship points online once again. As we're trying to, I'm trying to say that the 88 of Matt Crafton has his teammate taking points away from him right now if he goes by. But at the same time, Colin Brown's going to take points away from Ron Hornaday. That's kind of a tough deal because they're both, you know, you're trying to go out there, you're trying to race for your team as best you can. It, it's one of races, but um, yeah, when you've got the point leader guy right dead in front of you, it'd be nice for to go up there and challenge him for that spot. Debris on the front stretch. And Rick Wren pops up off the pit box. We know how good Ron Hornaday is at restarts. To see the caution, or would you have rather just rode this one out? Now, I think right now we got pretty tight on that long run. Probably this caution's in our favor, cool tires off and make a last, that last ditch run at it. We've been able to get that six on a restart before. Four laps of racing to go. Who will win the inaugural race at Iowa Speedway? The guy in the driver's seat up front, Mike Skinner gets the green flag. We're back to racing. Four to go. Great restart by Mike Skinner. Crowd on their feet for these last four laps. Cheering them all on as they go by the grandstands. Mike Skinner with a great restart. He's got two truck links, now three between he and Eric Almirola. I think that pace was a little faster than Ron Hornaday wanted to see. And he normally gets at least one spot before he gets in the middle of one, two. Right now, it doesn't look like he's uh, got it. Mike Skinner coming out of turn number four. He will win the first ever race at Iowa Speedway. Great side-by-side -side battle for third. Colin Brown holds off the 33 of Hornaday. 